you were a repeat offender. Just give me some of that. <sighs> There's a lot of movie trailers coming out. I always get overwhelmed in the first half of the month, apparently, as every trailer comes out like two times a day. But this one is probably a trailer that you're not so aware of. Everyone noticed the Garfield movie trailer that came out on a Monday again and revealed not that much new stuff. But this one here is the British Garfield, essentially. This is 10 Lives. The cast are predominantly British. It's being produced as a new original movie from Sky, if you're aware of that. Sky is essentially just the TV thing that we have in Britain. I don't really know anyone my age that has Sky, and also it's one of those subscription services that has like £10 per subscription, and they have 18 different subscriptions for sports, and cinema, and TV, and shows and they're like separate and split and every time you want to watch two different shows they're always under two different subscription fees. You know, it's one of those. Now the premise behind this movie is essentially this cat here who's basically Garfield, very lazy, happy with his life, has used up all of his nine lives, I guess, goes to the afterlife and is then told he must experience ten lives as ten different animals. All the while there's some sort of evil nefarious scheme plot he's trying to foil along the way. I'm drowning! I can't breathe! I'm a fish. You can always tell it's him by the monochromatic eyes he has. And boy is this movie British. Every single line has that British flair to it. They keep showing up Zayn Malik's name as he's doing some of the music and is one of the characters. And really, uh, it just looks very... This looks like luck. Remember that movie, the, the John Lasseter movie? It just kind of looks very... It's just an original movie by a different studio, really. But it's an opportunity for some new things to go on. The main protagonist in this movie is performed by Mo Gilligan, who is having their first movie debut here. But they're no unknown name, they are a multi-BAFTA winning for things like the latest show with Mo Gilligan. On the flip side, you have the evil Professor Craven being played by Bill Nye. Other characters we have are Beckett being played by Simone Ashley, previously known for Bridgerton. Never mind, she's playing Rose. Jeremy Swift from Ted Lasso is playing as Happy, a wise cracking dog. Wow, the alternative to the cat. Sophie Okonedo from Hotel Rwanda, who's playing as Grace, the afterlife receptionist apparently, known as an ethereal, no-nonsense woman with the power to grant Beckett his new lives. Dylan Wellen. Now Dylan's playing as Larry, who's the blue-haired boy we're seeing in some of these clips, described as Rose's socially discomforted lab partner. He kind of feels like he's meant to be a parody of some sort of youngster hipsters and so he's just the butt of all the jokes again. Something feels very snooty but I guess a lot of British audiences are in that way. And oh my god it's Zayn Malik. After smush that lab to smithereens. He is fluffy. Zayn Malik is playing as both twins Kirk and Cameron. They're really just giving him everything huh? Crazy. There's all sorts of articles here that are like, Zayn Malik fans have been sent into a frenzy over this trailer. Oh god, the One Direction 31 year old heartthrob. It's like, okay, it's it's so very British. I'm not the demographic. I kind of am. I'm a One Direction fan aged. This just looks like a very standard, simple movie. Kind of on the line of terrible. I mean, I'm playing clips throughout this video. You can kind of get the vibe I'm telling you here. It's quite lowbrow humour. There's a point where a guy's trousers rip in half. Oh. And then there's another point where the cat sits on a pepperoni piece and it goes onto their butthole. It's, it's, mmm. Thank you for making it halfway through to this video. I appreciate you reaching this far in. Do check down below to see if you're subscribed as maybe you weren't aware of this as an animated movie trailer. And being subscribed means you get to stay on top of practically all of it. Garfield's apparently too much of a success for me to talk about. It didn't have that much to say in the trailer for my personal tastes. But this, uh, British Garfield, oh, let me tell you, it's something you haven't noticed before. Genuinely, I'd love to hear your thoughts on what you think of this. Does it seem extra British to you? Does it just look generic? I can't tell what the vibe is because I haven't seen anyone else talk about this movie. The only thing I found when looking into the comments of the Sky Cinema YouTube channel is a crypto scam, I think, and two bot accounts talking to each other about, oh, wow, this is so great. But anyway, I'll stop before I'm too far ahead in this rabbit hole. Let's get back to the rest of this video. Hey! <laughs> What's going on, bro? 
Now the actual studio behind this is again a UK based studio, what a surprise, called GFM Animation. Known for making independent movies and TV shows. They're working on The Day the Earth Blew Up, a Looney Tunes movie, which is interesting. Very 2D, but that's, you know, an experience. But they've also done things like X Factor in the Jungle, Ozzy Voice of the Forest, and Paws of Fury. Ah, interesting. Actually, this is kind of exposing me to a whole new corner of 3D animation. There's also Here Comes the Grump and Duck Duck Goose. There's something to hop off of. I don't have very high hopes for this movie, but I think it's because I've seen too many movies all the time, you know? This is why we put our seatbelts on. You ain't seen nothing like this. As an expansion of the original premise, it says, Beckett, a pampered cat, totally takes for granted the lucky hand he has been dealt. Rescued and loved by Rose, a kind-hearted and passionate student focused on saving the world's bee population. But all that is about to change when he carelessly loses his ninth life. It is a journey that sees Beckett turn from gloriously self-absorbed pet to a self-sacrificing hero. Oh, okay, just spoil the fact that he dies at the end, I guess. Because sometimes you must travel many roads to find the very best version of yourself. Alrighty then. It's kind of your classic Secret Life of Pets kind of story. It does seem very middle class, middle aged. Hey, look, cat do the funny thing. Wee wahoo. And then for the producing side of things, we've actually got Chris Jenkins in the director's seat, who is a Disney animations veteran. Being part of the visual effects and art department for things like Aladdin, Hercules, Atlantis, but only really directing Duck Duck Goose and Ten Lives. So, you know, again, an interesting new expansion. Now, this movie's already debuted at Sundance Festival, where it got a solid, like, 80% response, which sounds like it's decent. But then on the flip side, Duck Duck Goose apparently got 40% from audiences. So, really, this could go in any direction. New elevator. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> really, this just looks like another standard animal piece of bait. You know, they're running with the idea of, oh my god, Zayn Malik's in it. He's playing two characters and the soundtrack where I think it's just a studio trying to hop onto an audience demographic. It's kind of past its sell-by date in the sense that One Direction is not at all topical and trending, but hey, I mean, Zayn Malik can do his own thing, sure. It sounds like someone running to make something work, and I personally am just very, very skeptical of it all. Nothing I see out of this movie looks particularly compelling or breaching into new territory. It's just a sort of blend of Secret Life of Pets and Garfield, run by a side studio just trying to make a buck out of Zayn Malik's name. But hey, I'll give you the full response about it when this movie comes out on the 5th of April. Again, just less than a month in these trailers release, man. Everything's coming out the first week of April. I'm gonna be so busy in two weeks, it's great I fell into a fever for five days last week. And even then, that April 5th release date might even be delayed for you guys in America. Sorry, I'm supposed to wait 20 days for Kung Fu Panda 4 to release, so maybe it balances out. You get Panda, I get... Cat. Hmm. I can be! Come on, bruh! But yeah, that's all I have to say, really. It just... look at it. It just looks... yeah. Yeah, it looks like this. So on that note, I'm gonna begrudgingly end it off there. For now, my name's been Daz. Thank you for making it to the very end of this probably less popular prompt. Tell me your thoughts. Are you aware of Sky as like a subscription service in Britain? Does this look very weird to you because it's British? Does it just seem generic and samey like anything you've ever seen before? Genuinely, I'm curious to get the vibe on this movie because nobody's talked about it. I wonder why. And I will see you in a little bit. You know what? Your mum can... Bye-bye. <laughs>